Does history indeed repeat itself? We're going to find out because John and Nancy are still talking. All right, today on the old podcast, uh, we have our friend and uh, co worker, Ken Zersky, who handles, of course, all our traffic duties on the morning drive. Uh, but he's also an author that we learned last time he uh, joined us. Um, you started, how many books are you up to now? There's four books. Four books. Wow. My fourth. Yeah. Man, that's and that's what cool. we talked about now is on the last time, the unremembered book two had right. just come out in September. And uh, I touched upon a little bit of the, what the we're going to yeah, yeah. discuss today. So, uh, Yeah, I saw you on TV, I think. Or was it, <laughs> was it, didn't I see you on TV yes, here recently did. already? Yes, you did. Yeah, it's already, there's a commercial or a teaser for the show that uh, premiered on Sunday of last week. Oh, all right, say this week, right? Yeah. So, so, uh, so let's let's reset yeah. this just for a second. So we'll rewind to the last time you were here, and you mm-hmm. told us that uh, because of your so Ken writes books about it's very interesting. His unremembered series is about people who change the world in some cases, definitely change their you know the business, the industry they're in. Their you know they changed, made significant change, but yet they never became a household name. They they just for some reason were forgotten by history, and either other people got the credit or no one ever got the credit. But they're great stories about people who were just real movers and shakers. But you don't know who they are until they, but they until, were impactful. And, and right. They were hugely impactful. Yeah. So anyway, fast forward now to uh, somehow because of these books, Ken has got some kind of credibility apparently. Yeah. <laughs> for telling good historical stories. And uh, the History Channel came calling, and and, uh, and now they've come calling again. Literally out of the blue, it was a Tuesday in late August of last year. And Tuesday in the Zersky house is kind of chaotic. <laughs> Our daughter Nora has band price, so we're like, who's taking Nora to the band price? Who is, what are we going to have for dinner? Sam's going off to work, my son. You know, so it was all this kind of chaotic stuff. My wife ended up taking my daughter to band camp, so she left. And I was in charge of making dinner. And then all of a sudden, bleep, bleep, you hear that kind of notification that you got mm-hmm. an instant message on your phone. I'm like, oh, you know, it, it was kind of a bother. You know, like, right. who's that? And I figured and I, went, and I figured it was on my personal Facebook page, but it was an instant message on my Ken Zersky author Facebook page. And so I started to read it, and I couldn't believe it. It was from a, it was a producer from the History Channel. He just said, you know, we found a story on your blog site of a character that we're going to to uh, feature in one of our new series. Uh, we really like the way you told the story. Would you be interested in in you know being on the show and telling more of those type of stories, especially about this character? And I'll get into who that was. Yeah, and so. I mean, I was just in shock. Yeah, like, for sure. Like, you know, you know, it's <laughs> out of the blue. And we need you there on Wednesday, right? So I called my wife, who was then, you know, had just dropped off my daughter, and I said, "Get home right now. I got to tell you something." Of course, she thought it was something bad. Right. So, <laughs> no, it's good news. I, you have to preface it by that. I never. Yeah. I, I, the time she got between the school and home was so fast, and she comes uh, to the door. I was like, "Sit down." She's like, "What's wrong? What's going on?" And I told funny? her what was going on. And, uh, of course, she, she was excited, too. And the next day, we had a Zoom meeting with this producer, and he, te- he we just talked about that story and the character. And then you know, several weeks later, I was uh, flying off to, uh, well, New Jersey. They flew me in a new... Well, that's another story about the about the flights going there. Oh, but, man, who knows? Uh, yeah, we had a bit of a delay, but uh, ended up getting to their New Jersey studios. About a four-hour uh, taping uh, went re- very well. Uh, back to the hotel overnight, back in the morning to Peoria. Yeah. I mean, so. when you get back to Peoria, every day, did I just do that? Yeah, you know right. what I mean? You're kind of running. So the reason we're talking to you is it's getting ready to air, which is and why now, I said I yeah, saw you so, on TV because you are in a promotion to, to promote the, the show. Right. It's been they, They've been running this little 30-second teaser during shows, and it was time my son was watching the American Pickers, the new episode of American Pickers, and it came on that. I'm wow. like, woo! I mean, There's that's Ken like, Zersky. That, that's one of their main yeah. shows, You're right? Big time. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so I had, I had to wait, <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, I talked about it like, you know, obviously we talked about it cause I think I'd just come back from the taping when we talked about the book Yep. and, uh, um, so now it's here you yeah, know? And, and it's coming out when it's coming out on August 6th, my episode, the first, it's a four part series. Now it's, it's called mega brands that built America. Okay, cool. Interesting. So it's a spinoff series and they have several of these spinoff series of the foods that built America. That's the main one. They have the toys that built America, okay. they have different things. So this is another spinoff of the foods that built America. 
And the first episode ran this past Sunday. That was about the department store, Walmart, and Sam Walton and all that. Mm -hmm. Uh, This Sunday is going to be about the delivery brands, FedEx, UPS. Mm -hmm. And then August 6th, Sunday night at 9 p.m., our time, will be a whole new ball game is the title. It's about the sports sporting good manufacturers, okay. Rawlings, Spalding, and Wilson. Oh. And I had written a story on my blog site about how all three of them were used in the war effort, World War II, because the government was looking to uh, make helmets for tank radio operators. Okay. And they needed to put the radios in these helmets. And so they, they patterned them really after the football helmets at the time, okay. which are just leather helmets. If you <laughs> yeah, remember. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And so the manufacturers all got together and helped out the war effort by making these basically football helmets that they used as uh, helmets for the tank and radio. Here helmets. I thought they were going to shoot baseballs at the Germans. I, that's, not what, that's not what it was about? <laughs> that's not it. Ah, so that's, that's the bad. story they okay. found. And they literally just Google searched it. And because I went up. back on and I Google searched it myself. Now it's like the third story down. That and is I, so funny. I always thought my blog site, unrememberedhistory.com, was very user unfriendly yeah. because <laughs> there's no index to it. There's nothing. They but found it's, it. It's all about that Google search. Isn't that yeah. funny? So I thought maybe someone had they'd read one of your books or something like that. You know? It was literally just a Google search. Now, let me ask you this. Right. And again, we're talking to our friend Ken Zersky, does traffic for us uh, in the morning. Uh, on the morning drive and and also is an accomplished author and and is now doing a history channel special about uh, early sporting goods manufacturing which is interesting but let me ask you this so since you since they've gotten to know you more is there any chance that we'll see unremembered stories on the history channel is this something we can get in development and if so can i be your agent i was gonna say you need to pitch it i'll give you a moment uh, (laughs) i'll I'll give you a moment to respond after the initial (laughs) taping they contacted me and they're like how do you want to be titled right how do you want your name and and what's going to go underneath your name and uh i kind of thought about it and they came up with a suggestion which was author of the unremembered series Okay. Sorry about that. Pretty good plug for a uh, book right there. Yeah. Yeah. I so, like it. Uh, yeah. So they, uh, they, we, we, we went with that and I kind of, last time we had contact, I kind of said, Hey, there's, I have about 200 stories on my unremembered site, you know, all kinds of topics. And they're like, Oh, well, you know, well, maybe something will come up. So maybe something will maybe come something up, but in I the just meantime, think, you, know, I, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just saying that that concept your your book concepts, the unremembered concept of, I remember the one that really stuck with me from your first book mm. was the first person to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel as a promotion kind of yeah. thing. I mean, there was probably some knucklehead who went over there by himself, yeah. but to actually use it as a, hey, we're going to put a sponsor on the barrel and we're going over yeah. was a woman. Yeah, that was Annie Edson Taylor. Uh, and, and the funny thing is that she marketed herself as the fir- obviously the first woman going over the falls. Uh, and everyone thought she was a woman in her 30s. She was actually in her 60s. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. And, so, and she figured out how to market this crazy thing, you know what yeah. I mean, and, and, and make money on it. I thought that was a fascinating story. But you could just see that playing out on, on a television yeah, show, right? Because right? Right. The, the, the photos are interesting and the story is interesting. And, uh, you know, you might be able to be in a couple of the first ones, but eventually you just get Matthew McConaughey to host the yeah, thing, right. and you're just the <laughs> producer, right? Well, um, the whole unremembered concept would make a great television show. I mean, this whole concept of those famously interesting right. people mostly forgotten. I would like Nancy to be the last woman that goes over Niagara Falls in a barrel. He's so nice, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> I'll I'm just, pass, I think. I'm, I'm going to pass joking. on that. Do you watch, uh, Nancy, do you watch Discovery Channel stuff? Or I, you, want- you know what? I forget about Discovery Channel, but just History talk, Channel. I mean, History I mean, Channel. I'm sorry. History, History Channel. Channel. But you just talking with me makes me want to go write that down in my little list of things I want to go back to because yeah. I do love to watch the kinds of, like what you are just saying about the food industry, right. about the business industry. And that history. So I will be, and obviously I'm going to watch you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cool. So Ken, Ken's uh, show's on, is, is this Sunday? Not this Sunday. Sixth. It'll be the next okay. Sunday after that. August 6th, yeah. right? Okay, that's mm-hmm. fantastic. 9 p.m., so be sure to check that out. Were you always a history buff growing up uh, or, or not? You know, not really. I started reading nonfiction books, and that really opened up everything oh. to me. 
Uh, and it really was after I moved here 20 years ago. This is my 20th anniversary here. Oh, man. Oh. How about that? Yeah. And uh, after I moved here and discovered the library again. I, I just, love just, the library. I know. I and, love it. And I, so I started checking out books, mm-hmm. but, I, but I wanted to read I wanted to read history for whatever reason. I mean, I wasn't growing up as a history nut or anything like that. I just wanted to read mm-hmm. history, and that's how I just got more involved with it. Well, that. you're a great storyteller, and, and, and I think that's that you find people's stories compelling just in, in, innately, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love doing the research. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Like I said, there's a, there's a, uh, a character in one of my, in the first Unremembered uh, books, she was uh, the first pilot who tried to go over uh, the, the uh, uh, Ruth, Ruth Elder was her name, and she was after she was a she loved Lindbergh, you know her yeah. hero, and so she wanted to be the first woman to fly nonstop, not by herself. She would have someone, um, uh, another pilot aboard with her, uh, but she and she was a dental hygienist, yeah. you know, mm. you know she she worked, at, you know, had never gotten into a plane, but she took plane lessons, and she was you know beautiful, and she wanted to be an actress, and so she promoted herself. Yep. And sure enough, I mean, it was headline news when she went up. They didn't make it. They you know, had an oil leak and went down and were, and, and were rescued. And I thought, oh, my God. And I read about her in a story about other aviation, aviators, sure. maybe even Lindbergh. It was in, the, in his book. And uh, I thought, what a great story. Ruth Elder. I mean, you, we don't know that name. No, I mean, not at all. We know cool. Amelia yeah. Earhart. Yeah. She ended up doing it. Right. Uh, and so I went online and I Googled Ruth Elder. And there's the Ruth Elder fan page. I'm like, you know, oh, no. I mean, if, if something is recorded, it's remembered. You know what I mean? If, if something is recorded, of course, there's newspapers that yeah. recorded all this stuff. Uh, I, and, you know, you and you wouldn't know who Ruth Elder is, but, you know, I mean, but out I there find, somewhere is somebody. Who, now I'm part of the Ruth Elder fan. Yeah. I know, but I also, <laughs> I right. just find, I find hearing about those stories uh, fascinating. Yep. I love that. And uh, we're so uh, just pumped up about your success yeah. it's really cool awesome. yeah I I, you it. know i i it's fun some people would say i'm kind of uh been humble about my success with the books <laughs> you know maybe i don't talk about it as much or try well, and promote it that, as much you put a lot of time uh, and effort into I'm, it so I'm, why I'm, not i'm proud of it yeah. but uh this history thing it's pretty darn cool yeah it is yeah, it's it really is. cool it's and because awesome. you know ken ken started out writing non-fiction i mean fiction books you know he had uh, the one about uh uh, the romantic uh, comedy book uh, "Let's Merge" that was a good one, and yeah. then oh. and, and then there was the uh, the the thriller uh, "Get Out of My Lane." Did you ever see that? Oh, so he has to end well, with a joke. He that, always has to end with a joke. The next time we're on, we'll talk about my appearance on the Hallmark Channel. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, continue right. success to you. That's cool. Yep. We'll be watching uh, August 6, 9 p.m. History Channel. Yep. And uh, and that's really cool. And but just real quick, if I wanted to get a copy of any of the unremembered books, how do I do that? They're all on Amazon. Uh, any online outlet, they're out there. Uh, the Peoria Riverfront Museum was selling them in their in their store. I'm not sure if they have any in stock right now, but Very uh, cool. e- easy to get. What about Barnes and Noble? Barnes and Noble, you can order it from Barnes okay. and Noble. Cool. Get it in store if you want. They did have some copies in store. I don't think they have them in stock. Great. We, Sold out. We, yeah, right. yeah, there you go. We love well, to hear about yeah. people's success and yep. in particular our friends. So thank you very much. Yep, thank we'll, you. We'll, you bet, Kate. we'll do more of it. And remember, I want to be your agent when we pitch this thing to History <laughs> yes. Channel. We'll, we'll talk more about that because if you keep listening, we'll keep talking. <laughs>